your backyard. You never know what you're going to find. And there's the make this invasive. There's like dog. Dog woods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm at my door. And the purpose of my channel is to engage children and families in learning about nature right outside their door. I have almost 40 years experience in public school education and I'm translating that into what I do right now. I love natural history. I love teaching about nature and I want to share that love and that passion I have for the outdoors. I want kids to be passionate about going outside and I want them to discover the amazing, amazing things that we have right here outside our doors. On March 20th, 2020, when the governor of Virginia closed schools, I started doing a Facebook Live video about things that I would find when I walked outside. And I started just following spring unfolding. And I followed the different plants that started to bloom and show themselves. And I teach about the natural history. I teach about the biological and science concepts and state and national standards that you'll find K through 12 relating to, to life science. And I take those standards and I make them understandable and I make it interesting. I always tell people that, that I sneak the science in because you're just wowed by seeing some of these plants and animals. I also like to bring in the colonial history, how Native Americans use the plants, and anything I can learn about its natural history and the special things about its life cycle, I include them in my videos. I try to appeal to the younger audience, but I have people of all ages that love watching me and learning about nat natural history. I hope you'll watch my channel. It was formerly called Nature in Your Backyard, but we got into some trademark issues. So now we call it Nature at Your Door. I really cover everything in the channel, from fungi and mushrooms to insects to amphibians, toads, salamanders, reptiles, snakes, and box turtles. I cover it all. I'll introduce flowering plants and I'll introduce trees. And a lot of times by finding that plant or tree, you can find certain insects or animals or wildlife that are associated with that particular plant. For example, if you learn to identify goldenrod, there are at least five different species of arthropods that you can find on a goldenrod flower in the fall. If you're watching this intro, I hope that you'll go to my video list on YouTube and pick out something that you're interested in and watch it and see if it's not a good thing for you or your family. And remember, I don't pretend to be the expert on any things. I just want you to get started on these, get excited find stuff and start learning about things around you. And I want you to go out and be active learners. And I encourage my viewers to look things up, to fact check me, to, to take the name or the identification that I gave you and use that to open a door to so much more learning. This is just the beginning. And I want to be your guide to discovering the nature that's right outside your door. I hope you like it. And if you like it, please subscribe and like. And I want to hear from you. I love getting comments and, and questions from my viewers. So please take a, take a look. Check out my channel. I hope you like it. There's something I can do for you or an episode you want to see. Write me and let me know. Go outside and discover nature that's right at your door.